Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you what are the formulas we have in Abacus. Why are these formulas required? When are these formulas required? Is it really important to learn these formulas? Yes, all your questions will be answered in this video. So I would want you to watch this video completely. This video is especially for those who already know Abacus, the formula part. And for teachers who want to get themselves retrained, it's a must watch video for all of you. So for the ones who are learning, I have more videos on Abacus. So I would request you to kindly go to my playlist and watch the Abacus lessons or Abacus concepts to understand further. So this is a one shot video as I told you earlier. I'll be explaining you about all the formulas in Abacus, when to use them. Okay, and if you are a person who is willing to learn Abacus step by step, then you need to stay tuned to my channel. To stay tuned, you need to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And you, without skipping my video, I want you to watch the video completely. So from now onwards, I'm going to focus the camera to the whiteboard, wherein I'll be explaining you about the formulas. So this video also helps you to Recall the formula at any point of time without memorizing it. So without any further delays, let's get started. How many formulas are there in Abacus? There are a total of 34 formulas. Why are these formulas important? These formulas are important for fast calculation on the Abacus tool. And also if a child or anybody wants to visualize using the Abacus tool, these formulas are important. Without the formulas, you will not be able to really visualize anything and solve mentally. Should we memorize these formulas? Not really required. If you can watch this video completely without skipping it, you will be able to recall the formula, any formula at any point of time without even memorizing it. When are these formulas used? These formulas are used specifically at certain point of time I'll not be explaining you each of the formulas, but I'm going to make you understand those formulas easily and you should be able to recall the formulas at any point. So let's get started with those formulas. We have three sets of formulas. The three set of formulas are big friends. They are also called as big family, which is also called as big complement. The second set is small friends, which are, which are also called as small family which are also called as small complement. And the third set is combination formulas. They're also called as mixed formulas or combo formulas. So in all the three sets, we have both positive and negative components. Even here we have positive and negative components. And even here we have positive and negative components. In positive big friends formula, we have nine formulas. In negative, we have nine formulas. In small friends, we have positive four formulas, negative four formulas. And in combination or mixed, we have four formulas in positive and four in negative. That makes a total of 34 formulas. So in Abacus, we need to understand and learn these 34 formulas. When are these formulas actually used? Big friends formulas, they are used when the beads are not available. For example, imagine I have 2 in the house pointer 1 rod and I need to add 8. To add 8, I'll first check the availability of beads. Here if I see I have only 7 beads, 7 more beads available to add. I don't have 8. In this situation, I'm going to use the big friend formula. So big friend formula for that particular number. So I want to add 8. I don't have 8. So I'm going to use the big friend formula for 8. So for 8, the big friend formula is plus 10 minus 2. So my answer will be 10. Now let's see the small friends formula. Small friends formulas, they are used when the beads are indirectly available. For example, if I have 2 in my 1's rod again and if I have to add 3. To add 3, I have enough beads. I have 7 beads to add but I don't have 3 beads directly available. So they are indirect. They are indirectly available. This is when I use the small friends formula. Small friends formula for plus 3 is plus 5 minus 2. So my answer will be 5. Now let's see the combination formula. 
Combination formulas are those formulas which are the combination of big friends and small friends together. And when are these used? They are used when the big friends formula cannot be used alone. For example, if I have 15, 1, 5, 15. And now I need to add 9 to this. To add 9, if I see this rod, I don't have enough beads to add 9. I have only 4 beads available. When in this situation, I will directly use the big friends formula, which is plus 10, minus 1. But if you see, minus 1 is not directly available. You have 5 beads, but minus 1 you cannot directly do. You cannot just pull 1 bead to get minus 1. You have to use some formula. So this is when I use the combination formula. Combination formula for plus 9 is plus 10, minus 5, plus 4. So my answer will be 24. Before I tell you about the formulas, let me explain you how to check the availability of the beads to add and to subtract. And if you have not yet watched my video on basics abacus day 1, I would want you to definitely watch that video and get back to this video. The video link is in the description box. Now, to add any number, you have to make sure that the beads are away from the middle bar. So this is the middle bar. And the beads should be away. Those are the available beads to add. And when all the beads are touching the middle bar, these beads are available beads to subtract. That means we can subtract from this. We cannot add. When the beads are away, we can add them, but we cannot subtract them. Now let's go to the formulas setwise. As I told you, we have three sets of formulas, big friends, small friends and combination. We'll go to the first set. In that first set, we'll see the positive components. Before that, we should know who is called the big friend. The big friend is 10. We should remember this, that 10 is the big friend. And we should know the big friends of all the numbers. So for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So let's find the big friends of all these numbers. So big friends are ideally the number when added to this number that should add up to 10. So that is the friend of this number. So for 9 it is 1, for 8 it is 2, for 7 it is 3, for 6 it is 4, for 5 it is 5, for 4 it is 6, for 3 it is 7, for 2 it is 8 and for 1 it is 9. So ideally, 9 plus 1 is 10, 8 plus 2 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10. Likewise, it, it goes 1 plus 9 is 10. So we should know the friends, the big friends of all the numbers. So this makes you feel easy to learn the formulas. Now let's see the big friend formula for positive components. So when we have to know the formula for plus 9, why do we use plus 9 big friend formula? We use it when the beads are not available. When 9 beads are not available to add in a particular rod, this formula is used. So since the formula, since the number is having a plus sign, the formula also starts with a plus sign. We are talking about big friends, so it will be 10 and the friend of 9 is 1. And that will be a negative number. Since this is a positive number, the friend will be a negative number. Likewise, when we go to plus 8, it will be plus 10 minus 2. For plus 7, it will be plus 10 minus 3. For plus 6, it will be plus 10 minus 4. For plus 5, it will be plus 10 minus 5. For plus 4, it will be plus 10 minus 6. For plus 3, it is plus 10 minus 7. For plus 2, plus 10 minus 8. For plus 1, plus 10 minus 9. So these are the positive components, big friends formula. Now let's see the negative formulas, that is negative components. So if I have to minus some number and when the beads are not available, so minus 9. So when the number is negative, the formula also starts with a negative sign. We are talking about big friend, so it will be 10. And then 1 is the big friend of 9. Since this is negative, the friend will be positive. This is how we can remember and recall the formula. Likewise, for minus 8, it will be minus 10 
plus 2 for minus 7 it will be minus 10 plus 3 minus 6 is minus 10 plus 4 minus 5 is minus 10 plus 5 minus 4 is minus 10 plus 6 minus 3 minus 10 plus 7 minus 2 minus 10 plus 8 minus 1 minus 10 plus 9 so a total of 18 formulas are there in big friends formula so 9 positive components and 9 negative components and big friends formulas are used when the beads are not available now let's move on to the small friends formula so small friends formula are for small numbers and we have 8 formulas in small friends four positive components and four negative components so small numbers are considered to be numbers below five so they are for plus four the formula is plus five because we are talking about the small friends formula so the number will be five here since the number is positive the formula starts with a positive sign now we have to find the friend of four so as I told you, when this friend and the other friend is added together, we have to get 5. That is the concept. So now, what should I add to this number to get 5? I'll add 1. So 1 is the friend of 4. So that will be a negative number, minus 1. Likewise, for 3, it will be plus 5, minus 3 plus 2 is 5, so it will be minus 2. For plus 2, plus 5, minus 2 plus 3 is 5, so plus 5 minus 3. For plus 1, it is plus 5 minus 4. These four formulas are for positive components. For negative components, for minus, minus 4 equals, the number is minus, the formula also starts with a minus sign. Minus 5, because we are talking about small friends. Friend of 4 is 1, that will be a positive number. Because this is a negative number, the friend will be positive. For minus 3, it will be minus 5 plus 2. For minus 2, it will be minus 5 plus 3. For minus 1, it will be minus 5 plus 4. So why do we use the small friends formula? We use the small friends formula when the beads are indirectly available. The beads are available, but they are indirectly available. When they are indirectly available, we use the small friends formula. Going on to the last set of formulas, they are combination formulas. Combination formulas are the combination of two sets of formulas, that is the big friends and the small friends. And these combination formulas, so as you can just imagine, you order for a combo meal. So combo means you have everything. That means it is large, it is huge. So combination formulas are for large numbers. So large as in the numbers which are above 5. So they are 9, 8, 7 and 6. So let's find the formula for 9. That is plus 9. Why do we use plus 9 formula? When the beads are not available, we use the big friend formula. But when big friend formula cannot be applied. So what is the big friend formula for plus 9? It is plus 10, minus 1. So when minus 1 cannot be done, we use the small friend formula for this minus 1. The small friend formula for this minus 1 is minus 5 plus 4. So this will be a combination formula. So the combination formula for plus 9 will be plus 10 minus 5 plus 4. How can we remember this formula easily? See the number is positive. The formula will start with a positive sign. As I told you, it's a combination. So you will have 10 which is the big friend and also the 5 which is the small friend. Only the small friend sign will change that is minus and then you will have a number here. So this number when added with the small friend irrespective of the sign that is 5 plus 4 will give you 9. This is the way you can remember 5 plus 4 equals 9. Same thing goes with plus 8. So plus 8 big friends formula is plus 10 minus 2 minus 2 if we don't have beads directly available we use the small friends formula for minus 2 which is minus 5 plus 3 so the formula for plus 8 combination will be plus 10 minus 5 plus 3 
again here also it's the same thing the number is positive hence the formula will also be positive it's the combination of big friend and the small friend small friend with a different sign and then you will write a number in such a way that if you add the small friend and this number irrespective of the sign you're going to get this number so 5 plus 3 is 8 now let's check for 7 and 6 for plus 7 the big friend formula is plus 10 minus 3 minus 3 when we are not able to do it directly we'll use the small friends formula which is minus 5 plus 2 so the formula for plus 7 combination is plus 10 minus 5 plus 2 that is you have a positive sign the number the formula will also start with the positive sign combination big friend and the small friend small friend will have a different sign with the number the number irrespective of the sign if you add with the small friend you are going to get this number so 5 plus 2 is 7 and that will be the combination formula for plus 7 the last formula in positive components which is plus 6 the big friend formula is plus 10 minus 4 so instead of this minus 4 we are going to use the small friends formula which is minus 5 plus 1 so the formula for plus 6 combination will be plus 10 minus 5 plus 1 even here the number is positive hence the formula is positive we have the combination of big friends and small friends small friend with a different sign and you have a number with the small friend irrespective of the sign if you add it with the small friend you're going to get this number and we have got that number now looking on to the negative components which is minus 9 minus 9 big friend formula is minus 10 plus 1 so here when this plus 1 is not directly available we use the small friends formula for plus 1 which is plus 5 minus 4 so the formula for minus 9 will be minus 10 plus 5 minus 4 since the number is negative the formula also starts with a negative sign it's the combination of big friends and small friends the small friend will have a different sign irrespective of the sign if you add the small friend and the number you should get this number so we have got 5 plus 4 is 9 when we look into minus 8 minus 8 big friend formula is minus 10 plus 2 when you don't have this plus 2 directly available we use the small friends formula for plus 2 which is plus 5 minus 3 so for minus 8 the combination formula is minus 10 plus 5 minus 3 even here it is when the number is negative the formula will start with a negative sign we have the big friend and small friend as it's a combination formula only the small friend sign will change if you add the small friend with this number irrespective of the sign you're going to get 8 that is 5 plus 3 is 8 now let's look on to the last two formulas which is minus 7 and minus 6 so for minus 6 the big friends formula is minus 10 plus 3 when you don't have this 3 directly available we use the small friends formula which is plus 5 minus 2 now the combination formula for minus 7 is minus 10 plus 5 minus 2 so the number is a negative number so the formula also starts with a negative sign it's a combination of small the big friend and the small friend so the small friend will have a different sign and the number if you add it with a small friend you should get this number so 5 plus 2 is 7 irrespective of the sign now the last formula is for minus 6 the big friend formula for minus 6 is minus 10 plus 4 when we don't have this 4 directly available we'll use the small friends formula for plus 4 that is plus 5 minus 1 so the combination formula for minus 6 will be minus 10 plus 5 minus 1 even here then number is a negative number formula also starts with a negative sign combination of big friend and small friend small friend sign will be different if you add the small friend with this number irrespective of the sign you're going to get this number that is 5 plus 1 is 6 so this these are the easiest way to remember all these formulas if you can just practice it once or twice you will be able to recall these formulas at any point of time so i hope this video is helpful and for more updates on Abacus classes and everything I would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel and support me.